Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Ash. And Inferna. And we wanted to take a moment before the show to thank our sponsor, Lovers Luxuries, located at 61st and Maple in Benson, the finest erotic boutique in the city of Omaha. You can visit their website at www.loverluxuries.com or you can Google them and find a location, uh, the, the directions to their store. Uh, drop in, say hi, and tell them the Angry Brothers and Ash and Inferno sent you. Well, we hope you enjoy the show. Bye. Bye. Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry. Things are keep improving for us here at the Monastery of Mayhem and with the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. We want to welcome our newest sponsor, Big Brain Tattoos at 1123 Jackson Street in the Old Market here in Omaha. Uh, they are our newest sponsor and uh, we would like everybody to stop on down and uh, say hi to Smitty and Lenny and the rest of the artists down there. Uh, get a price on a tattoo and the next time you decide to have work done, be sure and, and visit Smitty and see what he can do for you. Now back to the show. Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, brother, Jack Angry, along with Sin, our newest uh, cast member. And this gentleman is Terry Kern. He owns Halloween Stones, located in Council Bluffs, Iowa. And he's going to talk to us about some of these really wonderful Halloween pieces. So, Terry, uh, how long have you been doing this? Well, I started doing this about six years ago. Uh, and it just gets bigger and more varied and crazier every year. Mm -hmm. Well, I see these uh, these lo these wonderful looking skulls. I mean, the I wish we could show uh, the detail on these in a little better uh, than what we do, but they are fantastic. And these are all made out of concrete, you say? They're all cast in solid concrete. They won't blow away like styrofoam and they won't wear out this year for sure. Yeah, and the dogs can't eat the them. The dogs will have them, exactly. Yes. Uh, you were telling me a very interesting story about some tomb styrofoam tombstones that's, that you had gotten. That's how this all started. I, I was given a gift of styrofoam tombstones and uh, they wound up the main course at, at a dog meal in the <laughs> yard. Nobody at the time was making anything like this so I wanted something that would last. And you work out of your home? You have a studio out of your I, home to do this? cast out of, out of my home and sell right out of the front yard so far. Well, well, that's excellent. So have you been getting much business lately? Well, not this year yet, but it's real early. And uh, we're just gearing up for Halloween, trying to get a lot of stuff cast because it does get busy. Okay, I see that you have the uh, skulls here. And believe me, these are some wonderful pieces. And this is what, about 10, 15 pounds? That's about 15 pounds, solid concrete. Well, but you wouldn't believe the detail on it, uh, faithful followers. It really looks fantastic. I mean, he's even got the little uh, the little suture lines in the uh, in the top of the skull, and, and it's not anatomical. I'm pretty sure it's not anatomically correct. Probably but not. <laughs> it, it, it looks it'll look wonderful on Halloween. This one has more detail than yeah, anything else. That one has kind of a Celtic look to it. I see yeah. a yeah. Celtic Cap cross. Celtic Celtic Some of the Celtic knot work looks fantastic. And, and how would someone color these if they wanted to uh, just put a different color on them? Just the actually, you can paint them with exterior grade house paint. Exterior grade latex house paint works just fine. Okay. <clears throat> and once you've painted them, you can uh, do detail work with a, a magic marker if you want to. What about, say, model paints, the kind they use for the plastic models? Well, it'll work, but it'll tend to flake off after a while. Okay. Latex house paint will stick and, and last. Okay, a while. well, that's something our viewers will. Uh, will love. I mean, I'm sure James will love this uh, little pirate skull here as he <laughs> fancies himself somewhat of a pirate. You know? That among other things. Among other things, <laughs> yes. But let's not tell tales out of school about Brother James. All right. Now, um, you, so the skulls are not all you offer. You 
What other pieces make, do you do? Tombstones is where it all started. <clears throat> I make tombstones and gargoyles and crosses and skulls. I did see a Dracula bust on your... Um... There's, there's a Dracula bust and there's a Grim Reaper bust, too. Okay, well that's... <clears throat> some of our uh, goth viewers, I'm sure you could find something. These make wonderful gifts. Um, they make wonderful yard decorations. I mean, if you don't want a boring lawn gnome, uh, get one of get one of Terry's skulls or gargoyles for your yard or your garden. Um, believe me, it'll give your neighbors something to talk about. The neighbors do talk. Yes, and uh, <laughs> so what do your neighbors? Do your neighbors say anything? They like it. They like. They, they weren't sure at first. They weren't sure what was up, but uh, they like it. They walk by and give you that look the and your, point. And the neighborhood kids all cruise by my place to check it out. And well, you got people drive by to see it. Since you have your pieces out in your yard, have you had any trouble with theft or anything? Oh no, no, no. Well, that's that's really great, and you know it's really really wonderful that a neighborhood industry like yours creates these great pieces. Well, I think that the better pieces do come from private individuals who mm -hmm. do it because they want to do it. Well, um, and now you did say you don't ship because of the weight, because of the weight and I the could ship, all. but it would be an expensive proposition to ship. So it's, yeah, so you, uh, you're just mostly concentrating your marketing and your sales very, very efforts much on locally. locally. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, you can, if you like these pieces and you like what we've said here, these are going to be featured on our blog and our website, and we're also going to have a, a link to Terry's Facebook page, and you can look him up on Facebook under Halloween Stones. Uh, this episode will be airing, I would say, most likely the middle to the end of August to possibly the first week of September, depending on how we do. So, with plenty of time for the start of the haunting season. Now, I've got a friend up in Wisconsin who runs Rotting Flesh Radio. And I'm going to let him know about your uh, your uh, do. your um, studio, mm -hmm. and I'm going to see if he can get you some publicity on that as well. That'd be great. Yeah, uh, and that's another thing, faithful followers. Brother Jack Angry has been named as the Midwestern correspondent for Rotting Flesh Radio. So all of their local haunt industry happenings, haunted house news, uh, our events, what's going on in the show and some of the other more interesting events we're going to be reporting on. We're going to be reporting that back to Rotting Flesh Radio. So be sure and check them out at rfrpodcast.com or Google Rotting Flesh Radio. You'll be glad you did. And speaking of being glad you did, you're really going to be glad you watched tonight's movie, which is Dementia 13 starring William Campbell. Now, William Campbell, you know, uh, I believe he passed away in at the beginning of 2000 or in the early 2000s. His, he was famous for playing the Klingon Captain Kolos in the original Star Trek series, the episode Trouble with Tribbles. He's also been a character actor through the 60s, the, well actually the mid-50s, the 60s, the 70s, into the 80s. Kind of took a, a brief hiatus in the 80s and through the mid-90s when he started showing up on shows like Star Trek The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and I believe um, several others as well, but you can check all that on the Internet Movie Database at imdb.com if you have any questions about him, or write us at theangrybros at gmail.com. So we're going to get back to the movie Dementia 13 starring William Campbell here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockorama. Greetings, faithful followers. Wasn't that movie scary? What did you think of William Campbell as the accused axe murderer in Dementia 13? Now, this movie being somewhat of the low-budget fare, it was actually made in Ireland over the course of, I think, uh, two to three weeks, and it was done for a pretty minimal budget. But it was one of Francis, I believe, Francis Ford Coppola's early endeavors, and it kind of set the stage for his... Uh, foray into the horror genre, but William Campbell did really make the movie. I mean, he really did give a top-notch performance, and it's one of the things that he is remembered for. Now, we're back with our lovely Sin and Terry Kern from Halloween Stones here in Council Bluffs. Now, Terry, you were telling me on the uh, during the uh, movie that you're looking to hopefully open a haunted house here pretty soon. I, I would really like to open a haunted house in the Council Bluffs area. There really isn't anything in the area for people who love that sort of thing. Well, yeah, there's not very many haunted venues. You've got to come over to this side with 
um, Shadow's Edge and The Nightmare on Q Street and Mystery Manor and uh, the Bellevue, uh, I believe it's the Ranch of Terror out of mm -hmm. the Bellevue, Bellevue Berry, Berry Farm. Yes, uh, and we want to give a big shout out to all our friends at those places and you all our faithful followers can look for us there at some of those locations this Halloween. We'll also be coming back to Chrome Lounge to judge their costume contests and when we get the final dates on that all settled down we will pass those on to you. Now, uh, Terry, so you were telling me that you tried doing some castings with other materials, but you didn't really like any of them, so, and that's why you stick with the concrete. Well, I've cast with a lot of different materials, just about everything you could think of, and for the money, you can't beat concrete. It's cheap, it's, it's solid and durable as it can be, I mean, it weathers well and it looks good. And now this piece right here, I've been, I've had my eye on this one quite a bit. Now you said this is like 15 pounds and mm -hmm. it's concrete and the cost is what? It's $25. $25? Mm -hmm. Now if this were cast in say something like Lucite or some cold, cold cast resin or something like that, how much do you think it would be retail? Well, cold cast, if you use cold cast resin, it, the retail wouldn't change much, but it wouldn't, you couldn't leave it outside. It wouldn't weather well. So for something that was going to sit on a shelf or on a desk, you might want to just do it in cold cast. We could do that. Would the weight but, be the same? Or? Oh no, a cold cast wouldn't weigh hardly anything at all. It would be very light, uh, but not very durable. And you do custom, like custom casting. If somebody wants a piece like this in cold cast, we, you would do it. We could do it. We could do it. And you just charge them accordingly. Right. Okay. But Lucite, on the other hand, would be an expensive proposition. Would, uh, so that would be something that maybe the high-end buyer might want, um, you know, although Lucite with a lighted base under it would look fantastic. It would be bizarre looking. It would look fantastic. But these are wonderful pieces. I, I can't stress that enough to all of our faithful followers out there. They just look absolutely incredible. Um, and I can't urge you all enough to check I out... I like this one. Yeah, that one is fantastic. Um, to check out our our blog and our web page and our, our Facebook group where we'll have links to Terry's business so they'll give you a chance and uh, there'll be some contact information on his page as well if I'm not sure. mistaken so you'll be able to get in touch with him and uh, if you want to come by and with his place and buy one of his pieces that would be wonderful too um, also to our friends in Omaha who are in the haunt industry uh, get in touch with us at theangrybros at gmail.com We'll get you set up with this with this fine gentleman, and we can uh, hopefully you can work out some deals for publicity, or get some of his products into your haunts, or into your shops, or however you want to do it. This gentleman was kind enough to give up part of his day to come down and talk with us, and let all of us know what's going on. So let's help him out as much as we can. Now we're going to get back to the movie Dementia 13 with William Campbell here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shockerama. Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry. Wasn't that movie scary? Uh, William Campbell in Dementia 13. And we're back with Terry Kern from Halloween Stones in Council Bluffs. Uh, Terry, is there anything that you want to say before we uh, wrap this all up? Well, come by and check it out. That's, that's really, as, as soon as you do, I think you'll you'll see a lot you and like. And what's the address that our viewers can find you at? We're at 522 South 24th Street in the Bluffs, right near TJ High School off Broadway. Okay, and uh, do you have a phone number that they can call you at? Sure, you can call area 712. It's not a long distance call, but you have to dial 712-256-0572. Let me know you're coming. I'll be sure and be there and show you everything I can. And do you do you accept like Mastercard, Visa? Or no, something? no. Right now we're we're uh, strictly cash. Cash. All business. right. Bring it, bring your cash, faithful followers. Let's help the let's help this fine gentleman out. Sin, is there anything you want to say before we go? No, no. Still <laughs> shy. <laughs> Sin is still shy. Be sure and send uh, her lots of cards and letters and email so we can get her over her shyness and. You know, make her feel welcome here at the Monastery of Mayhem, deep in the bowels of <laughs> Omaha, Nebraska. I'm 
Brother Jack Angry, along with Sin and Terry Kern. Next week, we're going to be bringing you the, another film made by William Campbell. It's called Bloodbath or Track of the Vampire. Uh, it actually has a, it stars William Campbell, and I believe it has a part, uh, a small part with the legendary Sid Haig, who you would remember from, I believe, House of a Thousand Corpses and The Devil's Rejects. He's also a well-known celebrity hypnotist in Los Angeles, and he's well-versed, has been in the haunt and Halloween industry and the horror industry for many, many years, several decades, I believe. Um, you can check him out also by Googling Sid Haig on your favorite search engine, and we'll be bringing you that next week. Also, we will be bringing you a bit from Brother James called Brother James's Movie Reviews, and there will be more craziness to follow, and we'll keep you all informed of that here on the Angry Brothers Omaha Shakurama. So on behalf of myself, Sin and Terry, good night and unpleasant dreams. Well, greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Ash and Inferna. And we wanted to take a moment uh, at the end of the show here to thank our sponsor, Lovers Luxuries, located at 61st and Maple in downtown Benson, the finest uh, erotic boutique in the city of Omaha. We hope you'll stop in and visit them and check out their website for really great deals and information about the, the store. And that's at www.loverluxuries.com and tell them the Angry Brothers and Ash and Inferno sent you. Well, good night and unpleasant dreams. Mwah. Good night, guys. Greetings, faithful followers. This is your old pal, Brother Jack Angry, along with Inferno. Hi. And Sin. And we just wanted to take a moment to welcome our newest sponsor, Big Brain Tattoos in Omaha, Nebraska. Now, they're located at 1123 Jackson Street, which is on the back side of the old market here in downtown Omaha. We hope you'll stop by and see Smitty, the owner, and Lenny uh, and Jason, two of his best artists, and they will be happy to answer all of your questions and deal with whatever your tattoo needs are, whether you're just pricing a tattoo, you have a design, or you need a design. Lenny and his artists will be happy to, uh, to draw that out and set it up to your satisfaction and all of uh, their work is all their work is backed by uh, Smitty and his artists so you'll never go away dissatisfied from Big Brain so be sure and check them out and tell them the Angry Brothers sent you and if you'd like to check his webpage out it's www dot bigbrainomaha.com